Hello guys, welcome to the show. Um, today we're going to be doing some finishing on the Fiat 500. Um, I had to work a lot of off camera because uh, we're quite busy in the workshop at the moment because everybody wants to get their cars done. Um, but good update, uh, the car starts and drives now. There's a little bit of a fine tuning that needs to be done to most of the stuff that I have done previously. Um, so we installed a mechanical uh, throttle body. Uh, so this means I had to install a mechanical gas pedal as well, which will need some fine tune adjustments and all that stuff. Um, the boost pipes are connected, the intercooler, everything is connected now. Um, I still need to do the holder for the coolant bottle, uh, which is the plan for today. Uh, we have installed wide arches on it, fender flares, as you will call them. Um, I think they look pretty sweet. At the back, we need to change the rims and we need to change the tires all around anyway, uh, because these are stretched and we don't want to stretch tires. Um, next week I'm gonna go and collect some um, four pot brake calipers of uh, Alpha. Um, these are gonna take 305 or 330 mil uh, discs at the front. Uh, so yeah, let me show you what we have done so far. Most importantly that the car starts now because many people uh, don't believe that the car actually started. So yeah, car. So I was wrong on the first video when I said that it's on about 40,000 miles, it's on 33, uh, which is good. <clears throat> uh, we have fitted a bath steering wheel um, with the bath wheel, uh, with the bath seats and all that stuff. We have fitted a wide bind uh, gauge as well. So listen up now. There you go. We keep a really steady RPM of 900 at the moment. Check engine light, of course. But yeah, she sounds sweet now. Ah, my dad has done some painting to his pickup. Uh, some videos of that are gonna come soon. Also, he's doing a mold for a sport bar. I think that's what it's called this. So basically it sits on the top of the canopy. Uh, so yeah, the wide arches, and we pop up the hood. Yeah, yellow daytime running lights, I think they look sweet as well. So yeah. I need to install the air filter. Uh, which is going to be a tight fit uh, it runs pretty good it, there's no misfire or anything let me just pop the foot up so yeah for the day i need to fix the water uh, not the water bottle the coolant bottle uh, the water bottle is fixed don't ask how many attempts that took um we have all cash can the stock is still i need to tidy up the wiring uh, but i still need to add like four wires um, so, until it's warm up, it's a bit rich. It does all the cool noises as well. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan for today. Fix the throttle, fix up the wiring loom, make a brackets for the cooling system, and uh, clean up the garage a little bit. And um, Ellie and Dad, they're gonna start doing the MG bumper and the two new wings on my 124 station wagon. Uh, the state as you would say um, so yeah that's about it let's crack on mate
Okay, so uh, we're gonna be putting RAM air um, air filter, uh, but the inside diameter is too big for the outside diameter on our turbo. So we have this, which is a silicon hose going from uh, some sort of a diameter to another sort of a diameter. I think it was 61 to 51. Um, but figured out it's gonna be an easier way to do it. So this this side is gonna fit pretty well our turbo. Um, and that side, the good thing is it fits really snug inside. Oops, let me turn it around. Fits really snug inside there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it around here, glue it and then with the holes tighten it up uh, which is supplied with the ram air um, air filter so let's do it like this right now <laughs> so put that aside give a sharp razor blade actually let me put it in there and i'm gonna mark it like that Try to do a good cut. It's not a straight cut. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's alright though. <clears throat> so that is gonna go in there. Maybe like this. I don't think we even need to to glue it to be honest but yeah just in case I'm gonna glue that on and I'm gonna put it on the car That was the hardest air filter install ever. Ram Air, I'm really sorry for the way I'm using your product. <laughs> so I had to squeeze it and then push it and then push it even further. Uh, but it's in there. Uh, I can put even the clamp on so it holds it in place. Man, is it tight there. Yeah, this really really tight but let's listen for sounds hmm. air sounds like the the intake sounds quite nice let's see good in my opinion it's really rich though have a listen
it's stupidly rich but of course that's on a base map it's so rich that it smokes like crazy alrighty then um, I have cleaned up the garage a little bit I'm gonna move some other stuff so I can make more space for the little buckster we're gonna get it in there and we have exhaust leak and look at that it's dripping all sorts of fluids from there <laughs> anyway let's get right into it that the garage is clean we can start working on the gas pedal and mounting up the coolant reservoir tank thingy magic so let's get right into it now what I did is this was the first hole that I drilled and this is the second hole that I drilled I'm gonna use this one now and see how it behaves because the throttle was too sharp so I drilled it further to the pivot point. Hopefully now we can have a little bit more precise movement between 0% and like 25% throttle. Um, yeah. Also, comment below if you like cookies. George loves cookies. You can probably tell by that. Mm. Perfect. So I have done the um, coolant expansion tank as well, um, I have cleaned there was a little bit of condensation in the um, old catch can so that's cleaned up now. Uh, I think it's time for second cookie today but let me show you first <laughs> what I have done. So expansion tank I have made one little bracket over there and then you mount had like a bolt so I drilled it out uh, and there was like a pin at the bottle at the end of the bottle so it's all secure now it's not going anywhere it's nice and tight um, I need to do something about the exhaust I'm probably gonna heat wrap it uh, the intake I'm gonna in the future move it somewhere up here uh, there was a company that sells a cold air intake so basically there's like a metal plate that goes on there and the filter sits on top of it and it sucks air from here from a little bit more cold air intake other than the hot air intake uh, which is at the moment um, all this wiring is being spliced up and connected to the mega squat uh, the car is running really well now uh, as you know uh, I just need to check why um, so basically when the car revs more than four or five thousand rpm and it's moving and there's load in the engine uh, for some reason the stock issue cuts out the car completely uh, which is a bit of a head scratcher i don't know why it does that um, so i'm gonna play first of all a little bit with the settings in mega squat and I, if i can't figure it out then i'm gonna try and find what is if there's any mechanical or electrical problems that i need to chase uh, most likely what I'm thinking is 
when the car sees load and it you know then it doesn't want to run anymore so basically goes into a limp mode um, it switches the car off which in this case uh, switches my crankshaft sensor uh, input so basically it's a 5 volt input and uh, ground which come from the ECU di directly from the original ECU so I'm, I'm thinking when it sees some sort of um, load or positive pressure in the manifold uh, it shuts them off completely and then the mega squad cannot see what is going on with the engine so it decides you know what we don't see crank signal so the car should be off and it switches off as well uh, the fix for that I would think is uh, because the mega squad has a 5 volt output analog so I can just tap into it do this for the crankshaft and for the TPS and that should be that should be good um, but I'm gonna drive it a little bit more uh, see if I can play a little bit with the settings in the mega squad because I'm not sure if my sensor is a whole sensor or a VR sensor which means I need to play a little bit more and see because it will work in both of them uh, the only thing is it might in a higher RPM it might see uh, some some signal loss or signal just going all over the place so this might be the problem because at the moment it's hooked up as a whole sensor and it might be a VR sensor which I'm not sure and I cannot find in forums so as most of the stuff with the mega score everything is trial and error um, but yeah pretty happy with the results so far like the bonnet closes without interference it looks fairly original in here especially if I find the cover if I put the cover on top it looks really really good and once these uh, wires are taped in and isolated and all that stuff it's, it's just gonna be looking totally normal um, we have MOT on 11th of March uh, this is when the MOT of the car runs out so yeah 11th of March we need to go for MOTs uh, it's back to normal back here all the seats are in there in place I just need to put the glow box in place and that's about it um, I'm gonna go for a quick drive see how the car feels see how it drives and uh, if I can play a little bit more with the settings get it more drivable and then we're gonna give it to LA see how she drives it <laughs> which is which is the interesting bit uh, so thank you very much for watching um, if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so uh, it will help me and it will bring more interesting stuff to the channel um, because you know when you see a few more subscribers you're like all right let's go and make another video for them um, I just want to show you another car uh, It is This one It's a O3 plate Or I should say O4 plate or 53 plate or whatever uh, It's a 3.2 V6 And the engine, the drive gear um, The wiring and everything I'm gonna put into the um, w123 so this is the next oncoming project after we finish this little thing so once I finish the Fiat 500 and um, it's ready for the road and it's ready for Ellie um, then I'm gonna start doing that the 123 is gonna have a lot of rust which I'm gonna need to take care first but yeah it is what it is thank you very much for watching guys um if you like the video like it um please consider subscribing if you haven't so and uh i'll see you next time thank you and bye bye